Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking to you about um, motorising the Daypole dockside crane. I'll also be showing you uh, how I've uh, done it. Uh, at the moment it's only moving in one axis. Uh, future I might have it so it's spinning round like this but at the moment it's going that way and that way so I'll quickly just show you it uh, moving So this is version 1, um, I probably will end up uh, changing uh, the way it stops, um, maybe some micro switches along those lines. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll stop there and then I'll take you over to the uh, how, it get, how it's controlled. The crane is uh, controlled using a PWM board uh, on the left you can see the directions or the on off switch and also here is the speed control uh, I've just set it to maximum I will be sorting this bit out here so it stays in position uh, but at the moment it just goes over like that so that's the switch. I'll just take you underneath the baseboard and show you the board itself. This is the PWM board. Uh, switch, which is uh, the wires going to the switch and also the speed control. Uh, these wires here. I'll go into the accessory bus wire and those wires there I'll go off to the motor so again I'll stop there and I'll take you over to the way it moves uh, so that's the motor this is a 6 volt uh, 60 rpm motor so the speed control on the PWM board uh, can slow this down uh, but like I said 60 rpm I did work it out and I'll, I'll let you know in a minute but 60 rpm is slow enough this is a 3D printer lead screw uh, it's an 8mm diameter, 2mm pitch. Like I said, I did work out uh, how many revolutions it does from the motor to the lead screw. And then how long it takes the crane to get from one end to the other. Uh, I probably won't figure it out while I'm recording this but if I do I'll probably put a little a little description in the video so what this does and I'll also show you this working in a minute is obviously power comes to the motor turns the spindle and then in turn it turns the lead screw Uh, I 
I've got some metal rods which goes through the holes in the uh, this the bronze bit here that goes up into the crane which obviously makes it move so I'll be back in a minute I'll go and turn it on and then you can see it's working hopefully you can hear me uh, but this is it working Pretty simple. And there we go. I'll quickly do another shot and talk about the uh, the way the uh, this is connected to the crane. So I'll be back in a minute. You can just see the rod uh, just below the wheels there. So what it is is the rod goes up behind that wheel in the little slot uh, where the wheels join onto the plastic. That's the uh, the one that's powered, and then I've also got another one. If I can get it in camera, there we go. That is just the guide. Uh, so uh, when I when I was planning this and only using the one, um, it was the crane was moving quite a lot. Uh, this way it doesn't move as much it only moves as much as the width of the slot uh, but ne nevertheless it works pretty well the slot in the baseboard Uh, that's pretty much it um, for version one anyway um, if I do a version two or I do any modifications I'll uh, make another video and show you uh, let me know what you think if you've got any suggestions let me know please um, because it works but I'd love to uh, love to improve it uh, thanks for watching Cheers.